guide assured us that it was 15, maybe 20 minutes up the road. It was Basson Bleu, one of Haiti's most magnificent waterfalls, blue upon blue, swimming hole after swimming hole, joy upon joy, 15, 20 minutes. We packed our water, we put on our sunscreen, we laced up our boots, we started climbing the mountain. After about an hour, I started straining forward to hear the waterfall. I asked our guide if we were close, were we there yet? He said it was 15, maybe 20 minutes up the road, just a little ways. After about three hours, I was done. I couldn't go a step further, even though he assured me over and over it was just 15, maybe 20 minutes up the road, I was done. And so I turned and I sat underneath a mango tree, and that's when I saw her. This woman who had been behind us the whole way with 30, maybe 40 pounds of oranges on her head. She sat next to me and she took an orange and she cut it in half and she gave it to me. She said, you know, in Haiti there's a saying, after mountains, more mountains, after pain, more pain, after struggle, more struggle, after dictatorship and slavery, more dictatorship and slavery. And it's true. The life expectancy for a man in Haiti is 58 years old, and 80% of the population lives underneath the poverty line. No electricity, no running water, and all these babies who never make it to their first birthday after mountains, more mountains, and not just in Haiti, but in the post-apartheid South Africa. This new South Africa, and yet the roots of racism and poverty are still alive. After mountains, more mountains, after struggle, more struggle, and not just in Haiti or in South Africa, but right here. In our own communities, the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer and the violence in our communities. Gary and Randy were together for 12 years. For 12 years they've been together. It's just that Randy's parents have never recognized their relationship. For 12 years it has been mountain after mountain. A couple of years ago, Randy's sister got sick and her breath started to be labored and the nurses called in the family. They were in a circle around her hospital bed and the chaplain was there and they were about to say a prayer with the whole family except for Gary who was in the waiting room watching a rerun of Magnum P.I. Right before they were about to pray, Randy's dad said, wait, someone go get Gary. Someone else said, dad, it's family only in here. And he said, I know that. Someone go get Gary. And so someone snuck out of the room and brought Gary in and for a split second, that vision that Isaiah had of that new world became a reality. The valleys were lifted up high and the mountains were made low and the rough places became like a plain and the glory of God shone all around and everyone saw it. Now here's what I want to tell you, that after that night, Randy's family threw their arms and their hearts around Gary. Here's what I want to tell you. Babies in Haiti grow up strong and fat because their mother's milk flows down like a mighty stream, but I can't tell you any of that. We are still in the wilderness still in this mountainous 
land, Randy's sister died. And at the funeral, there was a family only section and there was a very precise amount of chairs. And Gary had to sit three rows back behind the love of his life, unable to hold his hand. After we finished our oranges, we stood up and we started to walk again. The guide assured us that the waterfall was 15, maybe 20 minutes down the road. And so I started to listen and to lean into God's future, to hear those waters rushing down. If you have ears to hear, you can hear them. They sound like justice rolling down like a mighty stream. If you have ears to hear and you lean into God's future, you can hear Randy's mother throwing her arms around Gary and kissing him on the mouth. I don't know how far away that world Isaiah saw is, but here's what I know. Here's what God said to Isaiah and so to us. Get thee to a high mountain. Be a herald of good news. Say to anyone who will listen, the valleys will be lifted up and the mountains will be made low. Cry out that all the pain and the struggle and the hurt and the racism and the violence, it's grass. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of God stands forever. Get thee to a high mountain and say to everyone who will listen, see, here is your God coming to you strong and mighty like a shepherd who feeds her sheep. Here is your God coming to you strong and mighty and holding the nursing lamb. I don't know how far away Isaiah's world is, but here's what I know. If you have ears to hear, listen for that water rushing down. It is blue upon blue. It is joy upon joy and the glory of God even now is shining all around and all people will see it.